guys, good morning and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be vlogging today. We have softball. Um, it is storming here in Florida. So first update, Emma left this morning to head to California <clears throat> and her flight is canceled. Yes. So she is currently in Orlando. Uh, staying with Casey because their flight is canceled for today. They are reselecting a flight for tomorrow in the morning, um, but it will get them there just in time for their first event. So they're gonna have to hurry up and land, go in an Uber to their Airbnb, get ready and hurry up, get back in an Uber and get to their event. And then it's the start of Coachella uh, Friday. So it's gonna be jam packed for them. And then I told her, I said, well, since you're rescheduling your flight anyways, you might as well see if they'll let you reschedule to fly home on Monday instead of Sunday. Because as you guys know, she didn't know she was going to Coachella until two, well, three days ago now. And she was returning on Sunday when Coachella is still on Sunday and a lot of the good artists are on Sunday. So I'm like, you might as well see if they'll let you switch your return flight to Monday. That way you can go see the good artists. And Casey and her were like, yeah. So they're gonna try to see at no charge if they can change their return flight to Monday, which would be great for them. So then they will have still three days. And she's waiting on the Airbnb hosts to also uh, respond to see if they can extend their stay. So yeah, um, I'll update you guys when I know um, because I know she's not filming any of that. So I will let you guys know for sure. Um, if they do have a softball game, I will film it. It just got done pouring. Um, it's super, super windy and we're having coastal flooding. So like right now, uh, everyone's docks are underwater and water starting to creep up in our yard, coastal flooding. So we're only getting one to two uh, feet of coastal flooding. And it's insane what the difference of one to two feet is on top of the eclipse, which affects the water. The moon affects the water, if you didn't know. And so after the eclipse, the water has been super high. And then to add one to two feet on top of that is just insane how much water it actually adds. But anyways, so Gabby's here so we can get her to the game. And uh, they already had their dinner per se. So um, I will update you when I know more about Emma. And then I will see you guys at softball. Um, I won't film the whole game because I know a lot of people don't like it, but if there's any good clips or a fun stuff or exciting stuff that happens, hit a home run, whatever, I will put that in. Um, but yeah, have a great day so far and we will see you guys back in a second. All right, so, so far the rain has held off. Looks like it might rain, but I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully it's done and passed. <clears throat> I did get an update from Emma, so they are not leaving tonight. Their flight is tomorrow at 7 in the morning, and then they have a layover in Atlanta instead of Utah, and then they were able to extend their flight till Monday instead of Sunday, so that's good news that she gets to go to the event on Sunday because those are like all, a lot of the good musicians are on Sunday, so. But now they're both trying to figure out outfits. The Sunday's like music festival part is more like hip hop and R&B. And I'm like, you can't wear a cowgirl hat with a skirt <laughs> for that day. So they're going to some shops in Orlando right now to see if they can find any outfits. I'll update you if she finds any outfits or whatever. Um, but she definitely said she's not filming today, so I'll just update you guys um, since she's not filming. Um, so yeah, I mean, at least they got that figured out. Now they're just waiting on the Airbnb to say whether they can extend their stay one more day. 
Um, they looked online and said that it's not booked for Sunday, but you know, I don't know. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they can book it for Sunday and have a place to stay. And then they have to get shuttle, Coachella shuttle bus passes because Uber is charging $400 a trip to go to Coachella and back. Like it's 400 there and 400 back. Ridiculous. So you can get the shuttle pass for 100 and you can go on the shuttle as many times as you want. So um, they need to apply for the shuttle pass. But I fed the dogs, we're on our way to the game. Again, like I said, if there's any good parts of the game, I will put it in. Uh, if not, you'll see me back. Okay, so anyways, that was the game. She got to bat once. Her coach wasn't here. Um, so they had like a fill-in coach. And then, um, pitcher was sick. So we didn't have our normal pitcher. But Gabby got to pitch, so that was nice. Anyway, so I'll put the footage. Ellie unfortunately struck out. Um, but, her batting average is still good, so that's a good thing, right? Right. Um, anyway, so I wanted to hop on here and film real quick before it gets dark because she has to stay till the fourth inning of the varsity game, and then after that, we're gonna pick up dinner. Yeah, that's kind of how our softball nights go. Which is why we usually don't film a lot on softball nights because uh, it's a long day. Um, but. Emma did hear back from the Airbnb host and it is rented for Sunday. So they don't know where they're gonna stay Sunday night. So as soon as she figures it out, I'll update you and let you know, but they're gonna try to find another place to stay for one night. Um, and they can't rent a hotel room because they're not 25. You have to be 25. So I don't know if I could call and get it and then she could just check in. I don't really know how that works, but we're working on it. So, anyways, um, the varsity game hasn't started yet. They're getting ready to start, and we probably have like two hours left at softball. All right, we are home. Um, I'll give an update on Emma. She said, I texted her and I said, did you figure out what you were doing? Um, and she said, well, we're waiting on them to call us back. Their text contradicts whether it was available or not. And I said, what do you mean? And I don't know, it was confusing. And then uh, they did get outfits for the third day. So they got that covered. I'm reading my text. And then um, they answered and said that it is booked, which I thought that's what they were saying, but I guess everyone was cute. Uh, or confused. Uh, so she said they have to find another place. So I don't know what they're gonna do with the other place, but that's that. I um, think I told you guys I was looking for a new couch um, and I, my sample packs came. So I was looking at the Annabelle, Annabelle, Anna, Anna Biel, Anna Biel, <laughs> I don't know. There. That's what the couch looks like and the base part of the couch and the arms come off. So this sofa is completely 
machine washable. So I wouldn't have the problem that I'm having with my sofa. And then I also like the Albany Park uh, sofa. The difference with the Albany Park is the base does not come apart and is not washable. So that's your difference. It's called the Kova Pit, which I'm sure you've seen it all over TikTok. Uh, it's the Kova pit that comes in this green color, which I showed you in another video. Anyways, um, my samples came. And these are the samples for this couch. Um, these are very hard. I don't know how to explain it. Mark says they're fine, but they remind me of fine. something giving me rug burn. And then they have the velvet, velvet green. Doesn't even look, it looks black, but it's a little darker. there, that's green. Um, gray, tan, mustard, gold, do whatever. I, like that one. <laughs> I do like that if I had like a contemporary house. And then I love the Bonacle. I love this one. And then they have, this is like a mix of velvet and regular couch, I guess. This is like a green. And then this is like a copper. And then these are your Albany Park samples. The green. <coughs> I like this one. This is like a part, like, kind of bonicle, but less bumpy. And then each one of the cards tell you on the back. Easy to clean, kid and pet friendly, and then polyester and acrylic. And it tells you what sofa it comes in. And then, so I like this one. But this concerns me because the base isn't washable. Am I going to have the same problem? This one is stain resistant, but not liquid <clears throat> resistant. These are your Albany Park choices. And then these are your choices for the Annabelle. 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 Annabelle? Yeah, call it Annabelle. Oh, Annabelle. So these ones, blended weave, 100% polyester, stain resistant, liquid resistant, pet friendly, pill resistant, 100,000 rubs. It did not pill. Commercial grade, machine wash, cold, and hang dry. Those are this group. So this is the one I like, but yeah. So these three are probably out, which leaves you these, and I don't like any of these. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a couple other couches I'm going to get samples for. There's a... Seventh Avenue, I think. That's supposed to be washable. I don't know. We're gonna look into it. And then uh, Ashley Furniture also has a couch that supposedly is all washable. So I'm gonna go look at that again today or today. Weren't we up there looking at the Yeah, we liked the one we found, and then all of a sudden they moved them all. Remember, we were gonna buy that one. Mm -hmm. And then they moved them and we couldn't find the one we so we're just we need to go look mm -hmm. because these couches are filled with feathers which you have to shake and move right you have to rebounce these couches back to life both of these the albany and those um the one at ashley furniture is like ours now where it's half feathers half foam and you don't have to shake them. They don't look deformed after five days of sitting on it. All right, so um, that's it from us. Hopefully you guys all have a great day. And we will see you guys Monday back with another video. Some updates on Coachella. Um, we might go out on the boat if the weather permits. But yeah, so we will see you guys Monday. Have a great weekend. Uh, do something fun with your family, and we will see you guys Monday. Have a great day. Bye.